problem 1b for the circuit shown in the figure find the current through 30 ohms resistance using nodal analysis here this is the 30 ohms in the given circuit we have to find out the current passing through this 30 ohms by using nodal analysis come to the solution first of all we will try the given circuit This is the 50 volts. This is 15 ohms, 5 ohms, 5 ohms, 21, 30 30 ohms. This is 100. This. <coughs> First of all, <coughs> nodal analysis. Nodal analysis is the combination of the KCL and Ohm's law. KCL and Ohm's law. See here in nodal analysis, first of all we have to identify the basic nodes. Basic nodes in the sense are a node which contains at least one new branch or new element. So suppose this is a node, but it is not a basic node. In general, we consider these two as a single branch because 15 ohms and 50 volts both are connected in series. Likewise, this 5 ohms and 100 volts voltage source both are connected in series. We consider this as one branch. If uh, two or more elements connected in series, in the sense we consider those elements as a, a single branch. Here, this is one branch. This is another branch. This is another. This is another, and this is another. If you identify this as a, a basic node and name it as a V1, see here for this node we have three branches. This is this is one, another one, and this is third one. We have three new branches which are connected to it. Name it as V1. And next, if you take this as a basic node and name it as V2, if you consider this as a basic node in the sense this 5 ohms is already uh, connected to V1. New to this V2 are uh, uh, this combination of 5 ohms and 100 volts and 3 ohms resistor. These are new to this. Next, is there any other new element here in the circuit? No. All elements are assigned to node one and node two. All the elements are connected to node one and node two. And here we take a reference node, and the potential of that reference node is. Zero. This is a reference node, and the reference uh, voltage potential of that uh, reference node is zero. Here, this is the V1 is the node voltage at this node one. V2 is the node voltage at this node two. Here in this node analysis, first of all we have to identify the nodes, basic nodes. Basic node in the sense a node which contains at least one new element or new branch to it, and then name it as V1, V2, V3, and so on. Okay, if we have three basic nodes, okay, V. <coughs> Next, we write a nodal equation. See here, here apply. KCL at node one. For this node one, we have to apply KCL to this. See here, for this uh, KCL equation, we consider this. If we write the equation for the 
a particular node but suppose here this is the a node one where the equation for a node one kcl equation for the node one we consider this node voltage that is v1 is greater among the all other source voltages or all other node voltages which are connected to it that means if you write the node nodal equation for this node in the sense the potential of this v1 is greater than the other nodes which are connected to it and other voltage sources which are connected to it that means is if you write the equation for v1 50 volts is less than this v1 is greater than this v v2 is also less than this that is v1 is greater than v2 so consider like that and if you write the nodal equation for a particular node and the polarity of that node take it as plus the polarity of that particular node take it as plus these are the two considerations first of all uh, you have to note before writing the equation okay now apply kcl at node 1 okay for this node 1 the potential at this node is v1 for this node we have three branches one is 15 ohms and 50 volts uh, connected in series this is one branch and this is a 20 ohms another branch and this is 5 ohms this is another but this 5 ohms is also connected to the another node which is v2 of potential next first see here if you take 15 ohms resistance this 15 ohms resistance is connected between node v1 and 50 volts voltage then what is a voltage across this uh, 15 ohms in the sense it is the potential difference uh, between and uh, two voltages across it that is v1 minus 50 you see here here the polarity of the node is plus and the polarity of this uh, uh, 50 volt is also plus in the sense you see here if two voltage sources are connected in series minus plus plus minus this is uh, two v1 and this is 50 volts if two these two are connected in series with the opposite direction in the sense what is the resultant that is the resultant voltage becomes a difference the resultant voltage is a difference see here here across 15 ohms resistance we have one end we have v1 potential and another end we have 50 volt 50 volts voltage what is the potential across this that is voltage across this is, is the potential difference of these two but if you write the equation for this uh, node 1 we consider the magnitude is greater among the all other voltage sources or all other nodes which are connected to then we write v1 minus 50 we consider v1 is greater than 50 if you write the equation for a particular node then this is the potential of a particular uh, resistance that is voltage across this 15 ohms resistance now but kcl what kcl says kcl says algebraic sum of currents at a node is equal to zero but we have to write the current expression for this uh, 15 ohms branch divided by 15 this is v1 minus 50 is the voltage across this 15 ohms to get current in this branch divided with resistance that is v by r plus we have um, uh, two more resistances which are connected to the same now one yes we have uh, 20 ohms resistance connected to node one this 20 ohms resistance is connected between uh, two nodes one is reference node another one is v1 then what is the potential difference it is v1 minus v v is the uh, reference node by resistance 20 this this final expression v1 minus v by 20 gives the current passing through 20 ohms plus we have another resistance uh, connected to the node 1 this 5 ohms resistance is connected between two nodes v1 and v2 see here this has plus polarity and this has also a plus polarity if these two are connected in uh, series in the sense 
as in opposite direction that what is the potential difference between them it is v1 minus v2 if i write v1 first in the sense if i write the moral equation for a particular node we consider the magnitude of that is greater among the all other node voltages and source voltages this is the v1 minus v2 gives the potential across the 5 ohms and divided by 5 gives the current passing through this 5 ohms then put equal to 0 then no other element is connected to the node 1 see here what is this actually this is current passing through this branch this v1 minus v by 20 is current passing through this branch that v1 minus v2 is current passing through this branch here KCL, KCL, these are the currents and they are in with the help of Ohm's law, they are in the form of V by R ratio, V by R, V by R. Then nodal analysis is the combination of KCL and Ohm's law. This is, let uh, take it as equation 1. Similarly, we are applying KCL at node 2. See here node 2, the potential of node 2 is V2. Here for this V2 we have 5 ohms, 30 ohms and this combination is connected. First, see here if you write the equation for the node V2, what we consider the potential of this node is greater among the all other nodes and potentials uh, of the sources which are connected to it. Then for the first, we write the uh, expression for this 5 ohms. That is, this 5 ohms is connected between V1 and V2. We write what is the difference v2 minus v1 by 5. If you write the equation for 2, this is v2 is greater than v1. Then we write v2 minus v1 by 5. Next, plus we have another resistance that is 30 ohms. That is v2 is 30 ohms connected between reference node and v2 that is v2 minus v by 30 ohms plus here plus plus both are in opposite direction in the sense what is the resultant it is difference that is v2 minus 100 by 5 is the this expression gives the current passing through this plan. finally no other element is connected to this node then put equal to 0 this is expression number now by solving these two equations we get node voltages v1 and v2 <coughs> from equation uh, one see here it is v1 minus 15 by 15 plus v1 here v, v is the reference node reference node voltage is equal to 0 then in place of v we may write 0 that is simply it is v1 by 20 now use of this plus v1 minus v2 by 5 then plus equal to 0 now uh, by taking lcm Solve this uh, equation. Here, yeah, LCM is uh, 16. Then it is uh, 15 force. Four B one minus 200 plus 63. Three B one plus 1260, 12560, 12 V1 minus 12 V2 is equal to 0. Okay, equal to 0. The by simplifying this, we get 4 V1, 7 V1, 12, 19 V1 minus. 12 V2 is equal to 200. 
next from the equation 2 let uh, this is equation uh, 3 this from equation 2 from uh, equation 2 uh, that is that we have equation uh, 2 from this v2 minus v1 by 5 plus v2 minus v is a reference uh, now reference node voltage is 0 so then we write v2 by 30 plus v2 minus 100 by 5 is equal to 0 next here lcm and uh, we take lcm lcm it is uh, 30 5 6 uh, 30 multiply above with 6 6 v2 minus 6 v1 plus 30 okay as it is right as this v2 plus multiply by 6 6 v2 minus 600 is equal to 0 uh, minus 6 v1 plus 6 6 plus 113 v2 is equal to 600 this is the uh, take expression 4 uh, by solving equation 3 and 4 we get uh, v1 and v2 Next, uh, by entering these two expression 3 and 4 in the calculator, uh, press more and here we select the equation 5 and the option for Nx plus Pm is equal to Cm. Here we have two variables V1 and V2 and we have two equations. Okay, then press option, select option 1. Now enter uh, V1 coefficient first 19. Uh, minus 12 v2 coefficients minus 12 and constant it is 200 next coming to the second equation again we have to first enter v1 coefficient which is minus 6 of 13 v2 coefficient and a constant value that is 600 that is 600 and then press equal to again press equal to we get x is equal to 56 x is equal to 56 in a sense it is a v1 value 56 volts it is node voltage 56 volts next y is equal to 72 y is equal to 72 in a sense y in a sense it is v2 72 volts next here coming to the problem For the uh, circuit shown in the figure, find the current through 30 ohms resistance using nodal analysis. Here, we have to find out the current passing through 30 ohms. The expression for current passing through 30 ohms is see here. This is the expression for current passing through 30 ohms. V2 minus V by 30. This expression gives the current passing through this 30 ohms. V2 minus V by 30. V is a reference node, potential is 0. Then what is current passing through this 30 ohms? It is simply it is V2 by 30. It is simply V2 by 30. Now we write current passing through 30 ohms. This is the uh, required answer. It is nothing but V2 by 30. Here in this expression, V2 by 30 gives the current passing through 30 ohms. Then what is V2? It is 72 by 30. See here. 72 divided by 30. We get 2.4 amperes is the current which is passing through a 30 ohms resistance in the given circuit, and this is the required answer.